So how many of you have ever stored personal information such as Wi-Fi passwords, banking information, email address and logins in your notes or in an email that you've sent yourself? Well, while this is a convenient way to store this information, this is not exactly the best way to do it. It's actually not very secure to do this because, for example, if you happen to lose your device, someone could just go into your notes and look up all your logins. The same thing can happen if they go into your email account. All they've got to do is, you know, probably type in the word password or something like that and find that information. So today we're going to review an app and it's called Signature. And I want to start off by telling you there are two different versions of this app. One is a free version and one is a paid version. So the free version, it gives you the ability to create three private notes and three public photos while the paid version gives you unlimited private notes and unlimited private photos. So when you launch the app, by the way, we're reviewing the paid version here. You're probably thinking, well, hey, this doesn't look any different than my notes app. I can see notes and I can see some photos if I have any in here. Well, what's very neat about this app is that in order to access that private section on the app, all you have to do is you set a passcode. In this case, I have to draw out something to be able to access the private mode. And it's here that I can go in and you know store anything that I want to that needs to be private so that if I do happen to lose my device, I won't have to worry about that information being public because it's gonna be behind the screen here. So how does this app work? Well, it's pretty simple. When you launch it, you go to the public mode, you're only gonna see the notes and the photos that you've set to public. If you wanna access the private ones, you have to actually just draw out the passcode. In this case, I set a K to be able to um, access this information. Here you can get access to it. For example, a note about bank info or Wi-Fi password, or if you have any photos you've stored. One other thing I did want to mention about this, you're not limited to just standard types of signatures. You can actually create your own. So in this case, I can just go into the settings menu and if I want to change the signature, in this case, let's make it a B, I can hit save and I can actually go in and you know change the frequency to make it you know more difficult uh, or less difficult to be able to um, recognize. So in this case, let's bump it up to hard. And as you can see, the, the line here moves. We're just gonna draw it out. And we happen to get a match. So now if we go back to public and we wanna access this, all we have to do is draw out the new character and we get into our private area. So overall, guys, I think this is a great app. You know, it's $1.99. But I think the convenience and the fact that it's going to help, you know, save a lot of you know, heartache if you happen to lose your device and you had you know, a lot of public information available. So overall, I think it's well worth it. Um, a couple of things that I would like to see. So when you create a note and it's public, there's no way to actually make it private. So it's almost like you have to copy your stuff that's on here go into the private mode and create a new note, you know, even if it's the same information and um, make it private. Um, one thing that is also kind of interesting is that if I'm in a private mode, I can just click into a note and I can just make it public by going down here. So I'd really like to see, you know, that option um, once I'm logged in to be able to do that to move things from you know public to private really easily. Uh, I'd also like to see a little bit of um, iCloud support possibly on this. But overall guys, I think it's well worth it, $1.99. Um, if you have any questions or you wanna actually get this app, I've included links to it in the description of this video. So I hope you enjoy it. As always, thanks for watching.